Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. This video was requested for people that don't have equipment. They've said, well, Sarah, what if I don't have dumbbells? What if I don't have any bands or a machine or I don't have a gym membership? Well, that's okay. I know that when I started, I think I started with just doing leg lifts and donkey kicks at my house when Sadie was little. But um, what we're gonna do today is just body weight. The only equipment that I do have is just a chair. You, anything that's that height would work. And I have a yoga mat, which even if you don't have that, you could use a towel. I'm gonna work out with you today. So I'm a little sore from taking two days off yesterday and um, working full body, which is what we're doing today. So bear with me, I sweat, I pant. Um, I might cuss here and there, that's just my thing. <laughs> but anyway, we always wanna get started with a little bit of a stretch. So but let's do some arms and just get those loosened up a little bit. Elbow behind your head and just stretch as you breathe. Usually you don't hear me breathe a lot in my videos because I have music co uh, covering it up, but I have always been taught to um, exhale deeply, like make the noise though. So you'll hear a lot of that. Okay, just kind of pull them in. Move them around, move your shoulders, also bring your knees in, stretch those, cool. yeah I'm pretty stiff <laughs> from yesterday, I should probably stretch more, so just do a few things that will get you feeling limber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just pulling in. Okay. For our warm up, just to get us pumped up and kind of out of breath, <laughs> we're going to do at least a minute of jumping jacks. do it this way, stand there and just do the motions of your arms. Bend, just something to get the body flowing. So if you get tired, just modify into this. And we're at 30 seconds, so 30 more to go. You can do anything for a minute, right? Fifteen seconds left. Ten. Five. And stop. I like side leg lifts. So we're going to kind of do lower body, upper body move, lower body, upper body move. I like to split it up. I feel like it keeps it balanced. So this is where the chair will come in. You can hold it on the top. Let's do it this way. I'm going to flip this around. So then hold on to your chair. Okay, just put your legs out. Let me show you this way. At a 90 degree angle. What you're doing is putting all of your weight in your heel. You control the motion of that leg. We're going to do this 10 times on each side. Okay. And you switch over to the other side. Keep that heel planted in the ground like a root that's not moving. You're really going to feel the burn in here in your glutes, your inner thigh. Okay. And this is what will really start working out your uh, outer hip and your glutes. 
So then after that move, we're gonna go into the upper body, which these don't look like much, but you will really feel them all in your shoulders and your arms. So with no equipment, let's just go ahead and do little arm circles into big, back into little, I do at least about 25 of these, if not more. You can do more, go ahead and push yourself. You really start to feel the burn in your shoulders. I've gotta mix it up or I'll get bored and stop. What I mean by that is it's gonna be these, where you're actually putting your weight into your palms and pulling forward. But first, let's do the mountain climbers. And again, nobody likes these. Modify them, do whatever you need to do. Just make sure that you're getting the motion done. Okay, so let me try to get you down here. And this is what it looks like. plus your core because you're having to hold yourself up in a plank position and you're just pulling those legs in so a lot of it's getting it here in your obliques so that's a really good one you can tell this is where I start dripping all over the place it's where I nicknamed myself the drip queen because it's everywhere okay so now after we've done our 20 of the mountain climbers let's go ahead and do our rows so again this is with no equipment you could do these with barbells, you could do it with a machine, but this is the row motion, okay? We're just doing a closed grip row. I put my palms together. Just um, what that's gonna do is tighten your chest when you push them together, right? Remember those little exercises, I don't know if y'all remember, where we used to try to pump up our chest muscles by doing that? I'm really old, you can tell, okay? So what we're gonna do is you start out, straight out, Pull them forward. Again, remember like you're wiping a tabletop, keep your arms in the same position, okay? We're gonna do 20 of these. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have to be honest, squats is one of my favorite. <laughs> so I like to have a chair just to give me some sense of depth that I'm trying to get to. You don't have to use a chair if you feel like you want to go lower. You can do that. I don't know why I've always used this as my grounding technique. It looks like I'm praying, but that's how I keep my balance. Now, when you're doing your squat, you want to envision that you're sitting down like on a toilet or on a chair. Okay, so when we go, I just try to have my butt touch the chair. Okay, you keep your legs width apart like this. This is a regular squat. Keep your hands whatever's comfortable to you. A lot of people do this to keep their back straight and they just focus on their butt touching the chair. So we can do it that way. So we're going to do 20 of these. Come up, I try to push the pelvic forward and pull the glutes in. Okay? And of course, that's where my breath comes in.
body. Now where you're going to feel this is all in your quads, your glutes, even your hamstrings. Do the opposite side, so we're going to do 20. It's okay that your hips move during this. You want them to. You want them to not be too stiff because you can hurt yourself. But just to get started, this is something where you're going to lower yourself almost into squat position. Okay? You're going to touch your hand, come up to neutral, go down to the other one. Okay, you're going to feel this right here in your quads. Remember to always come up and push those glutes in as you breathe, okay? It's kind of where you reset, like, and then go again, go again, all right? One, two. sitting back so put your butt backwards try to keep your chest up guys I lose count when I talk so I'm pretty sure that was our 20 and I feel that again in my thighs as we're squatting because you're having to hold this position okay also in your outer glutes and hips your hamstrings okay <laughs> what am i at i'm at so just sit in your chair but then you're going to scoot your butt off hold your hands here now you're going to want to stay as close to the chair as you can don't get way out here okay stay close to the chair you're going to dip yourself down Okay, to where your arms are 90 degrees, come up. Okay, two, three, four, five, keep your heels in the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our next thing is going to be push ups, right? Push ups are hard, nobody likes them. So, what I do is modify. There's a couple options to do this. So if you're doing them on the floor, let's go ahead. Okay. So on your push-up, you want to be here under your shoulders, okay, width apart. So you can be up on your feet and go down and come up. Don't be jerky in your elbows or to modify it, you can take it down to your knees, okay? And just go down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here. Okay, all right guys, we just completed that. I will list out the exercises that we just did. And that was amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my watch. I ended up at 163 beats per minute. I'm so sorry, I'm sweating. Um, so if you have any questions about that and what yours should be, what zone, um, or if you have an eye watch, um, we can go ahead and go through that on how to use it, which function to use when you work out. But I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the very first one that I've done a full workout in. You guys usually catch little clips where I'm dancing around in between sets because I'm tired or where I just kind of show one move and then I shut off the camera and I continue with the rest of my workout. So thank you for being patient, working out with me. I usually do it first thing in the morning. I haven't eaten yet, so that's one of my motivators. I like to do it fasted so that I'm not kind of having indigestion if I'm doing any weird moves. 
And then once I do my workout, that's time for me to go ahead and go enjoy a good breakfast with some protein, with some carbs for the energy that I just burned. So again, we'll do more together. Let me know if you have any requests for videos. If you have dumbbells, I can do one just based on dumbbells. If you have bands, let's do a band workout. If you wanna just do lower body, let's do that one. Upper body, that's usually how I work out so that on the opposite days, your body gets to rest those other body parts. So um, tomorrow I'm probably going to work on lower body. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Great job.